the the challenge was was going out into a massage marketplace and going hey i do massage and trying to stand out yeah at most via my website i said listen i do thai massage and then tons of photos and videos mat based there was no table on the menu of services it got to the point where it was like the only services available was a three hour reboot and a 90 minute belly reboot and they're like oh my god what the hell is this guy doing yeah and it, it wasn't for everybody but the people who liked it were like dude this shit is amazing dude this why why isn't this everywhere yeah and that's the question we get why aren't more people doing it why isn't this more available in other places because massage therapists are followers they're not leaders Massage therapists are afraid to stand out because, not because they're afraid of the judgment of the public, they're afraid of the judgment of their teachers, school owners, professional organizations, other massage therapists. They're afraid of the hater aid that's going to come when they actually follow their dreams and do what they want to do. Because, well, it's different. How dare they think massage therapists are crabs in a bucket. You try to stand out and they're grabbing you and pulling you back in. There's space in the marketplace. It's not just my work. Watsu, aquatic therapies, therapeutic flight, yoga therapy blended with Thai massage. Like, not just my work. Uh, Lomi Lomi. How much, how much Lomi Lomi is, is really available in the U.S. marketplace? Not a lot. I think and, I know of two practitioners in a 50-mile radius. The marketplace is going to diversify and you and I and our practices are a part of that differentiation. There will have to be enough therapists doing mat work, kicking ass, taking names, making video at scale, where the rest of the industry goes, oh shit. Like, we, we're, not, we're not set up for this mat thing, but all these people are requesting it now. When therapists see other people winning, that's when they want to do it. Because now it's safe. But they don't want to be the early adopter. They don't want to be the person that stands out and gets a bunch of hate mail like me. Make sense? Mm-hmm. Like, massage therapists didn't become massage therapists to, like, break the mold and be entrepreneurs. They became massage therapists to deliver the service that they were taught in school to be able to help their clients doing a handy-dandy fancy massage. Yep. And I mean, my experience in school, I don't even feel like what we learned did a fancy massage. We really, I really felt like what we were being taught was to do a specific routine and be able to work at a massage envy. Yeah. I mean, talk about really being put in a box. Well, Core uh, curriculum is limited. I mean, we had like some classes that went over injury treatment and how to specifically like target those areas, but it was such a quick course that there was no like really learning it and integrating it. It was here's your here's your formula, just do this. Yeah. The school owners and the infrastructure is designed to get therapists to get their license, to be able to do a massage safely, and to go ahead and pass the MBLEX and, and get started. The therapists yeah. are expected to do continuing education with people like me and continue to develop nuance in their practice and all the myriad forms that they could develop, which goes way beyond my work, a ton of other styles. There's not enough time in core curriculum. I asked Kristen flat out, Kristen has worked with me for three years. And her sessions are just starting to really cook. I mean, they were okay before, but she'll work on me and my arm. I'm like, dude, I, I'm almost a little regretful that I taught her. That's how, <laughs> that's how intense it is sometimes. I asked her point blank. I said, somebody just finished massage school. They got 500 hours of training, Kristen. Now they want to do my work. How long do they need to study with me? How many hours? Core curriculum is 500 hours. And she was like, oh, well, it's, 
I mean, but people learn at different speeds. I'm like, I know. I understand people learn at different speeds, but they just finished 500 hours in school. How many hours do they need with me? And she's like, at least a thousand. I mean, I know I practiced and studied and watched all of your videos and, you know, did your, got your workbooks and your DVDs. And it was two years, two and a half years before I actually integrated into my business because I wanted to know what I was doing, be prepared and be confident. And that wasn't going to happen in one three day live. No. Class. The students, when they come in and take intro tie or table tie, they think I'm just giving them a supplement to their practice. And I'm going, no, I'm trying to bring you over here.